Hello, my name is Paul Miners, and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Asana with Zoom for easily taking notes during a meeting directly in Asana without even leaving your Zoom video conference. This is a feature that's come out recently. I've been using it because I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one calls via Zoom, helping my clients. And it's a really handy feature to be able to pull up my tasks, my relevant tasks in Asana and add notes or more importantly, creating subtasks during the meeting. Because that's really uh, the key thing for me is I want to be recording what do I need to do next? What are the action points from this meeting that I need to now go and take? And so now I can just have all of that happen inside Zoom Zoom, and uh, it's a really nice seamless experience. Now if you have any questions at the end of this video please feel free to leave me a comment below and if you do want more one-on-one -on -one help with Asana, setting up or optimizing your account, training your team and generally just being more productive with this tool then check out the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana consulting support services. So let's get into this video and the first thing you're going to want to do is to install the Asana app in your Zoom account. So I've got Zoom open here and check that you're obviously on the most up-to-date version of Zoom and you should see this apps tab here. Now if you go, if you haven't added the Asana uh, app yet, I actually already have, but if you go to this discover tab, you'll see the Asana app for Zoom in here and you can install this. And so that's just a one-time bit of setup that you need to do and then you are ready to go. Now in preparation for my call, you see I have this call with Noah starting in six minutes. I'm going to copy this meeting ID and then if I head on over to Asana, what I can do in Asana is I can link that meeting to a task in my Asana account. Now, actually, another little bit of setup you will need to do if you haven't done this already is go to your project where you're creating tasks that you are going to be linking into Zoom. And if you come to the Customize menu, go down to Apps over here, and then you can install the Zoom application. So I've already done that on one of my projects, and this call with Noah that's in the client's project, I can now add a Zoom meeting. Because I have already scheduled my meeting, I'm just going to add an existing meeting and you can paste the Zoom meeting link or, or just the ID and I can add that existing meeting to this task. What that means is number one, I can easily launch and start the meeting directly here from Asana, but also it means that when I open up that meeting in Zoom, this task is linked to the meeting so it's going to show me and prompt this task and show it in front of me. I can as well, as you saw before, uh, if I just remove that one, you can create a new meeting from here as well. If you haven't scheduled a meeting yet, you could actually schedule the meeting directly from Asana, um, the time, the duration, all that type of thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the existing meeting ID and that way I've, I've now linked that to Zoom. So now let's go ahead and launch the meeting and let's look at how we can start taking notes. Okay, so here I am in my meeting all of the attendees have arrived. And what I can do now in here is click on this apps option down the bottom. And because I've got the Asana app installed in Zoom, if I click that, it's gonna launch Zoom and it's gonna show me any tasks that I have linked to this meeting, uh, like I showed you before by linking the meeting ID. So here we go, it's brought up the task call with Noah. If I click up here back to meeting tasks, if I've linked more than one task, I will actually see those all linked here. But because I just have the one task linked at the moment, it's taking me here. And I can type in my notes during the meeting if I want to be recording notes directly into my Asana task, I can do that here so I can type some notes. And as I mentioned, for me, one of the most useful things to do during a meeting is to record the action items and the follow-up tasks that I need to now go and do. So down here, I can create an action item or a question. Basically, what both of these options are doing is it's just creating a subtask on the parent task. So I need to follow up and say, send meeting notes to Noah. And maybe we say book meeting room for in-person event, whatever it might be. And then question down here, I could say is budget for the event. So I can record all that. A couple of other things that I can do in here, I can, um, uh, just a little handy thing is I can resize this window if I want to make it bigger. I can click up here and I can pop this out if I want. If I want to kind of create a separate window, I can pop that out or I'm just gonna merge that back in. I can share this. So a bit like sharing my screen, I can share 
the Asana task and the notes. So if I want other people to see the notes that I'm taking, I can I can do that share. And I can send the this task to the other participants in the meeting as well. I can select them and say, hey, Noah, you can, um, he, he's been sent this task. He can now bring that up in his Asana account if he wants to. A couple of other things I can do. I can mark the task as complete if I want. Actually, I'll leave that open. And if I go back to the meeting tasks, I could create another task. I could say, you know, set date for next meeting. And I'm going to assign that to myself as well. And let's do another one. You know, this is another task. Uh, and let's do that, you know, tomorrow. So as you can see, it's a really, by integrating Asana with Zoom, it's a really nice way of quickly updating relevant tasks from within Zoom without having to leave the application, without having to tab and switch over to Asana. I can access everything and do everything right in here. And it really keeps me focused on the people I'm talking to while still being able to access my notes and follow up tasks. I've been using this for just a short period of time because it's only just come out, but personally I found it really useful and I think it really does transform your meetings as well because it puts you in that mindset of asking what do we need to do next, what are the follow-up action items that we need to take away from this meeting. Here's what Asana looks like during the meeting. So as you can see, as I've been typing notes, those notes have synced back to Asana so I can see my notes here. I can see my action items and questions and actually it's formatted it nicely with these sections as well. So I've, I've got those ready in Asana, I can assign those and, and get started on those action points. You can see actually the status of the meeting because it's showing it started has updated here as well. And you can see my follow-up tasks, those additional tasks that I've created, those have appeared in my recently assigned section because I've assigned those to myself and I can even see that they are linked with the Paul and Noah Zoom meeting as well. So there you have it. That is a look at the Zoom and Asana integration. Like I said, this is a really powerful way if you use both of these apps already. Very powerful way of keeping your meetings on track and most importantly, keeping good notes and creating follow-up action items as a result of your meetings. I really do think it's going to help to make your meetings a lot more productive. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like to get more out of Asana and need help setting up or optimizing your account, if you want to automate more of your project management process and you want to correctly train and onboard your team, then check out my Master Asana program. When you sign up, you'll be able to join twice weekly group calls so you can get help from me and get your questions answered anytime you need support. You can also book private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions with me where we can take a deep dive into your account, I can show you key features, and I can even do group training workshops as well. And finally, you'll get access to my online course, which goes into a lot more depth and detail and covers topics that I don't cover on YouTube. So if you truly want to master Asana, then sign up today and I'll see you on the inside.